Have you ever ran a report in Xero, taken a look at it and thought, wait a minute, that's not right, that report includes deleted transactions? Well, it's something that I've certainly done before, and it's hard to believe that some of your Xero reports might include deleted transactions. Why? I don't know. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove deleted transactions if you find that they're included in your Xero report. Let's head into Xero and I'll show you how. Okay, I'm looking at a report in Xero. Now, the report that I'm looking at doesn't really matter, but it's one of the new style reports where you've got flexibility. You can choose the columns that you want included on your report. I'm looking at this report and I'm scrolling down, trying to make sense of it. And I come to, this is one of my suppliers, and I can see I've got first two lines on this report that appear to show the same payable invoice, the same purchase invoice, the same bill, twice. Now I'm thinking, what on earth is going on here? I actually know what's going on because I know what I've been doing in Xero. Let me choose the first one. So I click on that bill and look what I can see at the top left. This bill has actually been deleted. I'm going to hit the back key and I'm back on my report. So as a default option in Xero, your report will include deleted items. Now that's absolutely crazy but as long as you're aware of it you can do something about it and this is what you need to do you need to choose the option to filter your report and then you need to scroll down you can search for a filter but i'm just going to scroll down and show you they're in alphabetical order and the filter i'm looking for is called status i'm going to click on the drop down now there's nothing ticked but the default is that everything is going to be included so i'm going to select that but then what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the deleted tick and I'm going to remove the voided tick. I'm going to say apply that filter and then I'm going to choose update. And now my report is looking better. Invoice 4321 only appears once. If I click on that invoice, I can see that it's not the deleted one. So that's something you need to be aware of, that your reports in Xero can include deleted items, and if you need to get rid of them, you choose a filter. There was nothing clear on the screen, there was nothing told you that that first line was a deleted transaction. Just to make you aware that it's not every report that you will have this issue. One of my favourite reports in Xero is the Account Transactions Report. Now if we choose that report, and we choose the same date range as we used before, this time, invoice 4321 only appears once. If we go into the report settings here, this is where we get to the filters. If we go to the filters, if we scroll down, and this time the filter status is not there. So that means because the filter for status is not there, that it's not going to include the voided and the deleted transactions. Not always clear, just something you need to check for. If you're running a report in Xero, you might find that it does include deleted transactions and you will need to filter the report to remove them. If you liked the video, please let me know that you liked it. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you've got any questions, any comments, put them below and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.